Okay, so one of the most common questions that I get on my page is, how can I become a data analyst? I don't know why everybody wants to become a data analyst these days. I am not a data analyst, but I am a very good researcher. So I decided to go down the rabbit hole of Google search to show you guys step by step how to become a data analyst. And you know I'm standing on business when I bring my iPad. So let's get right into it. Okay, so after doing all my research, I came up with eight different steps that you need to take in order to become a data analyst and get your first junior role job. So the first thing is to learn the essential data analysis skills and the essential data analysis skills like math, statistics, Excel, spreadsheet, and all of that, yada, yada, yada. This one, you can go on YouTube to learn. Just type, uh, just search for essential data analysis skills or basic data analysis skills. And you can see every video. You can just watch it for free. The second thing you need to learn and which this one is such an eye opener for me is a programming language. So I didn't know that in order for you to become a data analyst, you need to learn a programming language. But first, you need to master SQL for querying and manipulating databases. And then you need to choose be between R and Python for your programming language. So you need to choose between learning R or learning Python. That thing you need to do, which is the most important part, is to get qualified in data analysis. Now, there are two different ways to get qualified in data analysis. You, you either have to go to university for it, which is very expensive. I have a friend that is studying data science in the university for a master's or you use a boot camp like Utiva. This video is proudly sponsored by Utiva by the way. Um, Utiva is an online platform where you can learn different skills like data analysis, which I'm going to talk about in a bit. So yeah, you guys should know that. So right now I'm on Utiva as you can see and their data analysis boot camp is an eight weeks boot camp. So you're going to be learning everything you need to know about, you know, analytics and data strategy within eight weeks. And I'm going to be showing you guys their brochure so you guys can see what you're going to be learning. I'm going to show it on the screen. So week one, you're going to be learning about Excel and Power BI. Week two, you're also going to be learning about Excel, but advanced Excel. Week three, you're also going to be learning about SQL. L is the programming language I talked about. S writing SQL, SQL for data query, SQL for data query two, aggregate function. Week four, you're still going to be on X SQL for data query three. I seriously do not understand this thing. Week five, you're going to be still on Power BI and connecting Power BI desktop to data sources. And it's um, Power BI for data analysis, yada, yada, yada. You guys can just check the brochure. You can download it. It's free to download so you guys can see it. I'm also going to be adding it on the screen so you guys can know. But yeah, that is what you get when you decide to go for a boot camp. I also need to add a caveat. Just because I said you should go to a bootcamp does not mean you cannot learn it on your own. You can definitely learn data analytics on your own, but it's going to take a lot of time. Like I've been saying, learning stuff on your own takes a while, but you can do it on your own. Like if you want to go down that rabbit hole of doing stuff on your own, taking one year instead of eight weeks, that's fine. Do it. Do you understand? So the first step after learning, getting qualified in data analysis is to practice your data analysis skills with projects. This is why I say go with a bootcamp. Like if you go with a bootcamp like Utiva, they are going to give you practice projects that you're going to, you know, projects that you're going to practice on so you don't have to stress yourself. So as you're done with the bootcamp, you're going to get projects like case studies that you're going to work on. Do you understand? Now, the fifth step after you've gotten qualified, after you've learned your essential skills, after you've really like mastered your skills with projects is to create a portfolio of projects. There are five different things that your data analysis portfolio should include. Number one, data cleaning projects to show that you can prepare raw data for data analysis. Number two, exploratory data analysis projects to demonstrate your ability to summarize and visualize data. Number three, statistical analysis or machine learning projects to prove your skills in drawing insights or making predictions from data. Number four, business analysis projects to exhibit your understanding of how data-driven decisions impact business metrics. And number five, soft skills. That means you should include any presentations you've done or reports that you've written just to showcase your communication skills and to show that apart from the data side you can actually communicate it okay okay so now once you're done with this you've actually done the majority of everything that you need and this is probably going to take you like 12 weeks right to get certified to get the skills to get your project to get your portfolio the next thing now you want to do is to create a linkedin account so that recruiters can easily reach out to you and get to see you um, if you want to learn how to create a LinkedIn account and how to optimize your profile so that recruiters can see you build a personal brand, I create videos on that and I also have a LinkedIn masterclass. You see, that also helps with LinkedIn optimization. So that is one of the perks that you get when you go with Chisiva, like for their bootcamp. The other thing you need to do, which is the seventh thing you need to do, is to create a resume. Utiva helps with this. Like, seriously, this is why I decided to, you know, talk about Utiva that I decided to 
you know, talk about them and talk about their boot camp is the fact that apart from the fact that they offer courses, they also offer a lot of add-ons that really help you guys to get a job. Like, you know, LinkedIn optimization, resume building, they help you with that. And once you're done with creating your resume and you've done, you're done with like, you know, building your LinkedIn account and it's been good, it's good, right? The next thing you want to start doing, which is the last thing you want to do, is to start applying for junior level roles or like internship level roles. I really do not advise internships like i just prefer like go for junior level because a lot of internships that i've seen is probably like unpaid internships which i don't advise you to do like you spend like 12 le 12 weeks learning you can just go for like you know junior roles instead of like internship roles so i would advise you to start applying for junior level roles seriously with what you've learned at utiva all your skills and with stellar linkedin if you go with me like for my linkedin master class and you know by creating a resume you are going to get a job you are going to get a job so like seriously i think that's it so those are the eight steps that you need to take in order to become a data analyst i hope you guys do not have any questions for me again because this took me a whole night of research to do this for you guys but i'm so grateful that i get to do it thank you guys so much for watching and go with youtuber because they sponsored this video and because i said so bye guys